I'm Matt the Tree Guy from the Magnolia Company and Seeds of Life and we're going to talk a little bit about Southern Magnolias that we actually propagate here in the greenhouses. We'll take you in there later and show that to you. And then we grow them off here in the nursery. So um, these are seven of the most popular ones that we sell. Um, right here is a, is a Bracken's Brown Beauty, which is really a beautiful tree with a, a little bit of a tighter habit to it, um, growth wise, and these nice little uh, curls to the leaves. Um, it's, it flowers, it's a pretty pretty good flowering, more of like a medium flowering habit to it, okay? Um, this is a newer one. This is called a Sweet Home Alabama, and we love this tree. It's just a total greenback magnolia. Not a lot of not a lot of copper on the backside. Really, a lot of flowers later in the season. So this one's going to flower more, you know, August through October in Zone Nine where we are here. But even further north in the Zone Seven, it'll flower later later during the year. Um, here's a classic that not a lot of people grow anymore, but is one of my favorites is a St. Mary's. Um, it's a really tall spreading tree. Um, and it, it, this variety's been around for probably 60 or 70 years even, but it, it's a lot of flower to it. So a lot of our pollinators, it's really pollinator friendly. Um, the bees love it. And it's gonna flower a lot in May and June and, and, and produce a lot of nectar for those, for those bees. Um, this is a newer one, it's a teddy bear. Um, it's a beautiful tree. It's a really tight habit to it, so you can plant this one really close to a, a building or a home, um, and it just doesn't require much pruning at all. It's just a, it's a wonderful new, newer tree. Um, something that's even newer is called a K. Paris. Uh, we really like this tree. It's got a smaller leaf than a Brackens, but it's almost really like a cross between a little gem, which we'll talk about, a little gem and a Brackens. But, Great for a container at a front door, um, and it, you can even prune it into like a topiary type form, which is really cool. Um, something that we sell a lot of during the Christmas season is a is a Dee Dee Blanchard, and that's this tree. It's it's one of the more popular ones in the landscape trade. It's got a really a lot of copper backing to the to the leaves. Um, we actually, for the Magnolia Company, we use this one a lot for making some beautiful wreaths and decorations all through the year, and so. It's a wonderful tree. Last but not least is a little gem. Uh, this one does grow smaller. It'll max out at like 20 feet tall. And the great thing about this one is it's a really the heaviest flowering of all the magnolia trees. And so you'll end up, you know, throwing flower from like, you know, May through in, in our zone through the end of October. I've even seen it all the way through Christmas time, which is a little bit rare. But it's, it's, it's a proud favorite because of the flowering habit of that. So, you know, these are all the seven varieties that we have here, right here today. We're working on some other new ones, which we'll be able to share with you later. And later, maybe we can take into the greenhouse and show you how we start these from cuttings, little baby trees. So thank you for tuning in today.